Hi, this is Gary Rubenstein, and today I want to show you how you can incorporate history of math into the trigonometry classroom by answering uh, the question, what is the exact value of sine of 3 degrees? Now on a graphing calculator, we can get an approximate answer to this question, which is about 0 0.05 two, three, three. But the exact answer would be some complicated expression, expression involving radicals. Now it turns out the exact answer to this question is written over here, and this is not at all any sort of obvious thing that anyone would come up with, but I'm going to show you how we can calculate out or use formulas to work out that exact value. Uh, just to show you, I typed that massive value into the graphing calculator and you will see that it gives us the same answer, that 0 0.05233 value. Now the main formula we're going to use is the sine A minus B formula from, uh, from trigonometry. And this formula is taught uh, in trig, but it's usually used for less interesting questions. Here's some examples from an old school uh, trigonometry book from about 1917. But the modern books have these same questions where they tell you something like sine x equals two fifths and sine y equals four fifths and they want you to calculate out sine of x plus y and there's other questions like this and uh, these questions are to say the least not very inspirational and they're, they're not very fun questions they don't seem very important but finding the exact value of sine three is more important because that enables us to create the trig tables and that's what these formulas were made for to begin with in order to create trig tables so we could use them for right angle trigonometry. So my goal here is to show you how you could use this formula to uh, to work out these values. I'm going to show you how to get sine cosine uh, of 30, 45, and 60. Use this formula to get sine and cosine of 15. Show you a special trick to get sine and cosine of 18 and then finally use this formula once again to get sine of three degrees. First I want to give you a little refresher about what, uh, how you could think of the sine of an angle uh, geometrically. Here I have a unit circle, AB is length one, and angle CAB is 54 degrees, and as I change it, notice how the length CD changes also. Well CD is actually the sine of, the actual length of CD is equal to the sine of that angle. And you can see down here these two values stay the same. So the sine value changes. And our goal is to figure out what sine of 3 degrees is. But we're going to do that by working out some of the easier values first. And I'm going to start by showing you how to figure out sine and cosine of 30 degrees. Now cosine is the length AD. And the way we do this we can move over here and this is a 30 degree angle and this is a right angle and this is a 60 degree angle and AC is 1. Now because of uh, 30, 60, 90 triangles the uh, CD is going to be half of the hypotenuse which is 1 half and that's why sine of 30 is a half and the um, side opposite the 60 degree angle is the small side times the square root of 3 so that's going to be square root of 3 over 2. And this enables me to fill in these two values. Now for the, uh, for the 45, uh, 45 90 triangle, we have a similar thing going on where this would be 1, this would be square root of 2 over 2, and this would be square root of 2 over 2. And those are the values for sine and cosine of 45 degrees. And I filled them in on my chart that I'm building. Here's the uh, 45 degree angle on the unit circle picture. Now I'll move to the 60 degree angle. And on the uh, 60 degree angle we have the same thing going on where if this is 1 uh, the cosine is a half and the sine is square root of 3 over 2 which I'll put onto my chart here that I'm building. Now we're going to use this formula for the first time to work out the sine, the exact value of the sine and cosine of 15 degrees. 
and using the formula as you can see here I plug everything in I base it on 45 and 30 I know the sine and cosine for both of those I end up with square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4 and that's that's a pretty famous question in textbooks you can see here on the graphing calculator uh, sine of 15 is 0.2588 and when I do square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4 I also get 0.2588. Now there's also a, a formula for cosine a plus b that I have over here and you could use that formula to work out the exact value of cosine 15 degrees which ends up being this value over here. And I'll fill those values into my chart over here. And here's where we seem to be about to get stuck because using these formulas it seems like I can only get multiples of 15. But now I'm going to show you a trick that's going to enable us to get the sine and cosine of 18 degrees. When I change this angle to 18 degrees we have this right triangle here and what I'm going to do is create a copy of this right triangle sort of by, by reflecting it. So I will uh, get rid of this, uh, I'll put the circle back if I put in this other copy then I hide the circle and I hide this line I get a special uh, triangle known as a uh, 36 72 72 isosceles triangle now our goal is to get an exact expression for the length CD which will also be the sine of 18 degrees and here's the way we do that this is a, uh, a 36 72 72 isosceles triangle. It's a very special triangle because unlike most isosceles triangles um, I, I'm not going to be able to, most isosceles triangles I can't do the trick I'm about to do. When you construct the angle bisector here of angle ACE it's going to split this triangle up in a special way that's very unique. Take a look over here. When you draw in this angle bisector what you end up getting is this smaller triangle this will be 36 because it was an angle bisector and this will be 72 so what we have is a smaller triangle that's similar to the bigger triangle now I'm going to call CE 2x because it's double the length of what I'm trying to work out here was, here was D here we're trying to get the length of CD AC is 1 AE is also 1 and here's where something clever happens because of this small isosceles triangle this is also going to be equal to 2x but this bigger obtuse triangle is also an isosceles triangle it's 36, uh, 36, 108 so this is also 2x and that makes this length 1 minus 2x now because these triangles are similar I can set up a proportion I can say that 2x over 1 minus 2x is equal to 1 over 2x that's uh, through similar triangles and when you cross multiply you get you get 4x squared equals 1 minus 2x and you bring everything over to one side and you get plus 2x minus 1 equals 0 when you run this thing through the quadratic formula you'll get your answer for sine of 18 which is negative 1 it's plus or minus we'll just go with the plus answer because it's going to be positive square root of 5 over 4 which is approximately 0 0.30 I know and that is the exact value of sine 18 and I worked out cosine of 18 down here using the fact that sine squared 18 plus cosine squared 18 equals 1 there was a lot of simplification, but eventually I ended up with this complicated expression for the exact value of cosine 18. And I'm going to add that to my list in the simplified form. So now I have all these values and everything's in place to work out sine of 3 degrees. See, we have all the components in place. To get sine of 3, we'll do sine of 18 minus 15 which requires us to know sine 18 cosine 15 minus cosine 18 sine 15 but those four values I have evaluated right here so by substituting them in I get minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 4 cosine 15 is root 6 plus root 2 over 4 and the others are right over here now this agrees with my answer from before 
and it's a lot more interesting than this.